Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about how can we work with REST API in the string set. So for this video I am going to work with Spotify API. So let me open my browser. As you can see on your screen, I have opened the search endpoint of a Spotify API. So uh, uh, in this endpoint there are two mandatory, mandatory parameters. One is uh, uh, the, your search parameter and second is your type so type could be either artist or it could be your track so right now i'm going my search i'm going to give my search parameter as a Katy Perry and art, uh, type as an artist and we can leave the rest of the field and then we have to generate the token let's agree so a token has been generated and let me try it so you can see it is producing a response so we are going to read this response in stream set and process it so for to use that uh, use this api we need this curl command so let me copy it let me paste it over here Okay, now let's go back to our stream set. So let me create a new pipeline. Let me delete this one. Yeah, so let me create a new pipeline. So uh, to read the data from REST API, we use HTTP client origin. Let's configure it. So first is your resource URL. So your resource URL is nothing but this quoted portion of the API call. Okay. Now select the mode. Mode should be the batch mode. HTTP method should be get only as we can see in our curl command over here. Uh, authentication type. So for authentication, uh, uh, Spotify provides us with a token. This, this is called bearer token, and the key to this token is authorization. And we have to pass this key value pair into our header. So let's go to the show advanced option. Over here you can see headers. Let me add a new header. <coughs> the key should be authorization. So this is the key. And the value is rest of the part. That's it. Now, uh, now we we have to set up the data format. You can see data format is JSON and JSON content is multiple JSON object. So uh, let's preview it. You can see we are getting one error saying JSON object exceeded maximum length. So what it is saying is like this origin is configured to read a uh, read a JSON object up to a particular length, and that length has been decided decided into the data format and this is the parameter and it can read only 4096 bytes in a one go so uh, as we are getting uh, json object of uh, more length than this parameter then we uh, so we need to update it so let me update it let me increase it i just increase it and randomly like four times let me rerun it You can see now it is able to read it. Okay, so uh, now you can see uh, uh, field is artists, and inside artists we have an item. Items is nothing but a list, and it has thirteen elements, or you can say thirteen map object. Okay, and this is our main data. Okay, so we need to extract these thirteen elements. How can we do that? We can do that with the help of field pivoter. Pick field pivoter 
what it does it it extract the it it extract the elements from list so now i have to give the path the absolute path to the list element the path is nothing but artist slash items and i don't want all field into my response so let's preview it now perhaps i have given a wrong path Let's be with again. You can see we are getting 13 records over here. You can see over here they, they show all 13. Now in this in these records, I don't want all fields, I just want name, URI. There is a column called followers. So we want I want total followers. These three fields I'm looking for. So, so extract these for three fields uh, from each record. We need expression editor. So, let me add expression editor. So, let me add those three fields over here. So, first is name. Second is URI. is follower so name is nothing but name and you are right no way if followers are nothing but the followers slash total that's it so let me do it now let me remember the configuration as well this time if you click on expression editor you can see we have name URI and follower as well now okay now I want to load this record into my SQL MySQL database so how can I do that I can do that using JDBC producer so let me add a destination called JDBC producer this is my JDBC producer so in JDBC tab, I have to provide the connection string. So I have already created the connection string. Okay, and my table name is artist. Let me provide the credential as well. So let's go toward the MySQL side. Let me open the client and you can see I have one database called demo and in demo I have no table right now. So let me create one table named as artist and it has all three fields name, URI and follower. This table has been created. Let me refresh it. You can see now it has, uh, it has a uh, uh, table so let me run a uh, select a statement on this table you can see this no data let me run the pipeline So you can see it has loaded 13 records into my GDBC producer, it means in my SQL. So let me run the select again. You can see it has loaded all 13 records. So friends, I hope this content has been helpful to you. And if you find it helpful, just like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.